in the previous video i have discussed the solution of the binary substitution the level one of the solution that is if the elements are alternatively changed that is a a b a b a a b a b a b a b a but i have not discussed about the level two of the solution that is if there are two consecutive same characters that is a a b or a b b a b b a a b b a a b b b somewhat like that that is this one or this one okay so in this video i'm going to discuss about the level two of the solution the prerequisites are fibonacci series permutation and combination the basics and dynamic programming this uh, this is like even if you don't know this it will do dynamic programming it will do okay so we are using the advanced form of fibonacci series to solve the level two so first let's take an example let's take this example a b b the output should be two so a b b now we have to check that the we have to start from the first element now a okay can it be paired with b we have to check it like let's check it out a b yes it can be paired with b okay there is a possible uh, permutation that a b is present okay so this can be paired so it can be either a and then any permutation of b b or a b and any permutation of b okay so it can be let's let's take the possibilities that it can occur that is it can be either a b b or a b b so a can i a will either stay remain alone or it will pair with b okay so basically the thing is the answer would be let's let's say uh, the answer for this would be function of the string a b b okay so this will be equal to function of b and b b that is either a is alone or a is paired with b so function of b plus function of b b right you get it so again for b if it's of length 1 then we will return 1 and for bb we will again check whether b can be paired with b or not no it can't be paired because uh, let's check the exact the given question see it's ab or ba there is no bb so it can't be paired so we will return 1 okay for this we will return 1 and the answer would be 2 now there is a part now the question comes the question that arrives is why do we need advanced fibonacci for this that is because since bb for this case this is a very special case we can't use t3 is equals to t1 plus t2 this thing okay this will use t3 is equals to the previous term that is t2 okay this will use this instead of this so fibonacci demands t3 is equals to t1 plus t2 but the advanced fibonacci demands it can be either t3 is equals to t1 plus t2 or t3 is equals to t2 depends whether um the present character can be paired or not okay simple thing now let's come to the code if we use recursion for this that is this thing then we will obviously get a big t l e so we can't use recursion for this that is the reason why we would be we would be using the dpp concept okay so let's go with the pseudo code the pseudo code the pseudo code goes like first we will uh, make an array dpp of length um n plus 1 okay 
this should be the length of the array dpp and we will initialize dpp of n as um, 1 and dpp of n minus 1 also as 1 okay and then we will run a loop from n minus 2 to 0 that is from the back because uh, we have to start we have to check it from the back okay so for this loop and we have to check if if the character at position i is not equals to the character at position i plus 1 in that case the dpp i would be dpp i plus 1 plus dpp i plus 2 and mod the number that is given in the question okay else dpp i would be simply dpp i plus 1 and the answer uh, we will print the answer which would be dpp 0 clear so this is the pseudo code for the problem uh, in case you have any doubt you can uh, the comment section is you can you're free to ask me in the comment section so this is the code this is the explanation of the code um, thank you